cut the strap of the box with a paper cutter or knife. Take out the bike. Inside the box you will find a small part box, training wheels, mud guards, crash pad and saddle. Cut all the cable type by remove the front wheel and handlebar. Inside the small part box you will find warranty card, reflectors, paddles and toolkit. Install the training wheel as shown. Fully tighten it with multi spanner. Loosen the stem face plate bolt and adjust the handlebar as shown. On a stem, you will see minimum insertion mark. Make sure to insert the stem up to the mark. Tighten the stem bolt. Adjust the handlebar as required and tighten the stem face plate bolt as shown. Install front wheel, loosen front wheel brake as shown. Check the direction of front wheel with the help of marking given on the tire side wall. Install the front wheel as shown. Put the lock washer and tighten the nut. Inflate the tire to the recommended pressure. Install the V-brake back as shown. Adjust the brake pad as shown with the Allen key provided. Check the brakes. If both arms are not functioning properly, remove the tension spring of the side which is not moving and tighten the adjusting screw and put the tension spring back. Check the brake lever and tighten the brake wire if brake lever is touching the handlebar grip when applying the brake. Adjust the brake lever as required. Install the rear fender as shown. Install the front fender as shown. Adjust the fender if required. Install the pedal on crank. The pedals are marked with R and L on Excel and there is a sticker based on the pedal. Make sure to install the pedal on the correct crank. To tighten the right pedal, turn it in clockwise direction. Install left pedal, turn it counterclockwise direction. Tighten both pedal with the multi spanner provided in the toolkit. Install the saddle as shown and tighten the QR. Of front and rear reflector as shown.
straighten the handlebar and tighten the stem bolt. Put the crash pad on stem and handle crossbar as shown. Your bike is ready to ride.